Hello everybody and welcome to a very exciting video. This is a video of FS19, this is gameplay, and this was actually featured at Gamescom. Now I've got the video file, and this is the one which was actually shown at Gamescom, and basically it's giving us a really good idea of where the game is so far. Obviously Giants is very keen to showcase how the game is developing, and uh, this is a very good video for that. So welcome to Felsbrunn. As you can see we're driving our pickup down the road here, this is of course not me playing, I just want to make that very clear, um, it's just I have the fantastic opportunity to uh, show this to you. This has actually been circulating for a while, this particular video, so you might have seen it before. But yeah, it's the preview version of Farming Simulator 19, and this game is looking fantastic. So I'm just going to keep mentioning a few things. From what I can tell, this is a supermarket just here. The scene does also change quite often, this is really just to show us um, the different features of the game. So let's take a walking tour of Felsbrunn. Let's go and check out the town and see what it's got to offer. Now, of course, when you see this, you've still got to bear in mind that it is still work in progress. However, as I've mentioned, it still certainly gives us a very good idea of what the game is going to be like. So it's all very picturesque, very pretty, and you can quite clearly see the graphics really have been overhauled huge difference, especially the shadows. You can see the shadows being cast here. It's all very impressive. And um, yeah, there's a, a very wide range of different objects around the map to keep it all very different and very varied. So this looks like it is the main street up to the town square. Also note the sky can change, it's all very dynamic. So you should be able to see the rain clouds coming. And it does indeed have depth of field, which is something which I've mentioned before. But there you go, you can really see what a beautiful place this is, and of course, uh, the features which it's got to offer. It's got a landmark in the middle there, the stack of animals. So here we go, you'll see that when the time is increased, the clouds are moving. Whereas in FS17 and all the previous versions, it was just a fairly st static sky, really, nothing really changed. So that's really nice, being able to see these clouds move across, and you can see the storm clouds coming. Okay, so the next thing which is going to be focused on is the garage, and the garage is obviously where you can buy the vehicles from, or the store, it depends what you want to call it really. But in this preview version, we get to see the John Deere being kitted out. This is the John Deere 8R. You can see you can choose your wheel brands, the engine setup, wheel setup. You've also got all the pricing, the pricing breakdown for leasing, and also if you want to buy it outright, that is there as well. But it's just fantastic to see that you can uh, view it in 3D. You can look around it. You can see how it changes when you put different options on and take them off again. I actually mentioned this in a number of my FS17 videos, how much I hated not being able to see what the vehicle would look like when you've actually modified it. So this is going to be a huge improvement to the game. And in fact, when people say, what's going to be your favourite thing? This is one of them. It might seem minor, but to be honest, it's going to be so useful to know exactly what you are buying. In real life, you wouldn't go and buy a machine without actually knowing what the options are you've put on it. Now in here you can see the different materials, for example the seat, and then you've got the plastic. It does look very well made. And I think the lighting is very good as well. Might look a little bit cartoony from the outside, but I think really, with a bit of tweaking, it could be absolutely perfect. And you can also see here that the accelerator pedal is being pressed, and also the brake pedal. My assumption is you don't actually need the clutch for this particular tractor to uh, to brake. Can't say though, because I've never driven one of these tractors in real life. You can see the sun actually catching those beacons and glistening. Also the same with any reflective surface. Now onto the Fent Vario 724. This is still a pretty big tractor, but this is really going to be showing us the new hose system, so essentially uh, the ability to put a hose down the side of the tractor, taking seed from the hopper on the front to the seed drill on the back. So you can see it's attached. 
and then there is the planter on the back. Now in 17, this was still the case but you couldn't actually see the hose running down the side of the tractor. You could still use the seed from the front. But here we go, you can see the hose, the flexible hose, now runs the length of the tractor via a support and it's got the ability now to uh, take the seed from the hopper and put it into the planter and then of course allow the planter to actually plant the seed uh, so you've got a nice field of corn for example. So that is a really nice system which has been put into the game, that is a new feature for FS19. You can also see the crows or whatever they are flying away, birds. Now this is going to be quite interesting to see as well. The ground texture is 2D, however, because of the new seat suspension, it actually makes it look, at least to the tractor, fairly 3D, because it's responding to the ground very well. You can see the operator actually suspended in that seat, even though the ground texture is clearly still 2D. Although it is a pretty good 2D texture, I've got to say. It's like the closest to 3D you could get before it actually is 3D. There we have it, a Vandestad planter. Now onto the weeder. Still driving a Fen tractor here, but the weeder actually does now have a use. In FS17, it kind of had a use. It made you feel more productive, but there were no weeds to actually remove. Whereas in 19, there are weeds, and this will actually rip them out, providing the weeds aren't too established. If they're too established, you're going to have to get a chemical and um, spray them off, basically. Luckily, though, this field isn't too infested, so it should be able to rip them out with ease. And it is actually a very wide weeder. So here we go. You can see that the weeds are being removed, but the crop is remaining, as it would do. So this is good, it's adding a use to the weeders. You can also see every now and then some birds fly out the crops, so this is a bit of a neglected field actually. You can see the view distance is very good, however with the depth of field the distance is actually out of focus. Now this is a very infested crop, as I was mentioning before. The weeder wouldn't do anything here, from what I can gather you actually have to kill them off. So it is time to get the herbicide out and we're going to spray them, or at least the operator of this tractor is going to spray them, and kill them. So as you can see, as I mentioned actually in another video, they do die straight away. The only reason why I can see this happening in the game is so you can actually see where you've been, whereas in real life it would take a while for them actually to wither and then finally die. But yes, if you couldn't see where you'd been, you would have to have GPS I suppose to actually have that as an effective system. Uh, so I'm alright with that, I'm alright with them withering straight away. Also, it actually looks like you've achieved something. Now onto a bit of combining with the John Deere T560. So you can see the combine harvester is very detailed. Again, we've got all the different materials in, inside the cab. You can see the different uh, leather material there for the seat and all the plastics and everything. It just looks very good. So we do have John Deere combine harvesters as well as John Deere tractors. Now, when it actually starts to harvest, you can see that the dust, I think, is a bit more obvious than it is in 17. It's quite similar, but um, yeah, it's certainly not worse. I would say it's a slight improvement from 17 on the, uh, the dust part of things. Now here is the Elmer's Chaser Bin, and this is a crop of oats which is being harvested. As you can see, the combine harvester is uh, fairly full, about three quarters full, seven and a half thousand litres in here. If you look at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you can see all the information you need to know. In fact, it is the same information which is presented to you in FS17, however, it is done in a bit of a cleaner way. It's, it's quite clean, um, although it does appear that we have the maintenance as well. Now, this is quite interesting. This is the placeable system, however, this is an animal pen which is being put in. You have the ability to rotate it, and it would appear you can actually place it wherever you desire. However, I'm aware that you do actually have to own the land where you put the placeables. So this is actually a horse paddock which has been placed. So what you can do is wander over to it and of course buy a horse if you want to. The way this is done is actually by opening the animal dialog, which will be opened in a second. 
There we go. And you've got all the different coloured horses. Grey, brown and white, beige, red, brown, brown, black, dark brown and light brown. So, there are now horses in this paddock. As we know, they're not confined to the paddock. You can actually ride them. Before this is done, though, we get to take a look at the animation of them. Which is quite impressive. Obviously, do feel free to post your own opinions down below on what you think of all of the different features so far. But it's time to ride. So there you go. You can get around the map without the use of a vehicle. You can go horse riding instead. Good galloping sounds as well. You also can uh, slow down a bit if you'd like to. So you can see here that this placeable cannot be placed. The reason for this is because we don't own the land. So what's happening is this parcel of land, which is actually um, only including one field, uh, field 27, is going to be purchased. You can see it's quite expensive, 238,000 euros. And now it can be placed. So you can't just go putting it in the neighbor's field, for example. One thing I can say from this though is parcels of land must be very expensive because this was only the one field with a bit of surrounding land and yeah that was not exactly cheap. Uh, so yeah I, I don't know how much a, a huge parcel of land would cost. I would imagine it's in the millions but some farms will get that big. Now onto cotton harvesting. This is a very impressive part of the game. I'm really looking forward to the cotton. Uh, one thing which I can say about this particular clip is it fills up very slowly. I don't know the situation with the field, I don't know if it has been fertilised fully, but it must have a very large capacity or something because this thing fills up super slowly. You can see at the bottom right hand corner of the screen the fill gauge is currently empty, uh, but you'll see when it's all unfolded, which is again quite impressive seeing it unfold, that it does, uh, it does take a while to fill up. This is a good clip to actually show the foliage bending. And you can see that when it goes over it, it is harvesting the crop, but it's also flattening the cotton plants and it is just springing up again. This is the same for everything, including grass. When you drive over it, it will bend the foliage, but then it will very slowly come back up again, or in some cases quite quickly. So I like this. This clip makes me very happy and uh, I am very impressed with FS19 because of it. I think that bird just made a noise. Anyway, this is getting very close to the end of this preview version video, which is from Gamescom. And um, yeah, I, I think it's it's really filled me with a lot of hope about this game. I didn't really doubt it. There's a few things I don't like, like I mentioned, for example, the 2D tracks on Combat Harvesters and also the Chase Bin. The other thing is uh, with the depth of field, the background is out of focus a bit, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's quite a good way of actually focusing on the foreground. Anyway, there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until the next Farming Simulator 19 update video, see you again soon. Bye for now.